Good afternoon guys, my name is Tim. This is a little video update on my radio telescope. Um, my radio telescope consists of four inverted V dipoles, um, each one having uh, two polarizations, um, and uh, one's east, one's west. They're all s separated uh, for various baselines, but uh, I'll have to do a video of that later um, when it's daytime. But right now uh, we're looking at my NTP server that I use to synchronize uh, all four of the telescopes uh, or antennas. Um, it originally was built on a datum uh, time serve, but uh, kind of died on me so I kept the rubidium frequency standard and uh, kept the um, GPS receiver uh, that it was updated for the bug that uh, the, s the server was known for and um, I just have a little Raspberry Pi that just parses the NEMA data and that gives me my um, uh, that gives me my um, timestamps and then that's what my NTP server is built from. Uh, below that is my Gluster cluster. Uh, it's two servers, uh, these two. It's one having about one terabyte um, and uh, data is replicated between both of those servers. The uh, middle server here I have dedicated um, just for the purpose of my Kerbos SDR receiver um, and uh, just runs Ubuntu. Below that is my R900 that I have um, running ESXi uh, it's virtualiz virtualizing various different servers, but um, uh, none are actually for the application of the uh, um, the radio telescope at the moment. Um, then below that is this uh, fantastic SDR uh, Kerbos. It has four inputs. Um, all four inputs go to for RTL uh, independent um, dongles and uh, also have all the necessary de delay lines for phasing and then uh, my um, workstation below that's got uh, two GPUs in it and um, that's I use for cross correlation for all four antennas. So more uh, more updates to come, but uh, it's a good place to start. Thank you.